Welcome to getting started with KO Power Sensor Bluetooth Smart. Next, you'll see how to get everything ready for your first ride. Before installing the pedals, please check the following. The chain clearance should be at least 5 mm when the chain is on the largest crank gear and on the smallest cassette gear. The cranks should be less than 16 mm thick. The width of the cranks should be less than 40 mm. And the threading should be standard 916 by 20 PSA. Clean the contact surfaces. Make sure that the lock nut is screwed in as far as it goes. If there's a groove on the crank, or the cranks are made of carbon fiber, place a spacer onto the pedal axle. Screw the pedals onto the cranks as far as they go, but do not tighten them yet. Both pedals are mounted the same way. However, note that the left pedal has left-handed threads and is installed counterclockwise, and that the right pedal has right-handed threads and is installed clockwise. Make sure that the mark on the pedal axle points downwards when the crank points forward. Use the pedal installation tool to keep the pedals in their correct position. The handle of the installation tool should be in line with the crank. Tighten the pedals with an 18 mm wrench. Recommended tightening torque is 35 Newton meter by 25.8 foot pounds. You can find the required tools for installation in the product box. The KO Power Essential pedal is installed the same way as the right hand side KO Power pedal. You don't need a lock nut to install the KO Power Essential. Start by installing CR2354 batteries into both transmitters. Note that the battery is placed inside the cover with the positive side facing down. Place the transmitter onto the pedal axle. Push the transmitter in firmly, but avoid using too much force. Secure the transmitter onto the crank with a cable tie and check that it's properly in place. Rotate the cranks with the chain on the largest chain gear and on the smallest cassette gear. And make sure the transmitter does not hit the chain or any part of the bike. Install both transmitters in the same way. The KO power system calibrates itself automatically every time the transmitters wake up and a receiving Polar device is found. The calibration takes a couple of seconds. Temperature during training has an effect on the accuracy of the calibration, so make sure your bike's temperature is stabilized before you start the calibration. First, wake up the transmitters. Don't put any weight on the pedals during calibration. Turn on the training weight mode in your receiving polar device to start the calibration. The magenta light means that the transmitter has to be paired with a receiving device. When the blue light is blinking, you'll know that the transmitter is connected to a receiving device. When a green light is blinking, the calibration has been completed. When a red light instead of a green one is blinking, it means that the battery is low. When a red light is blinking and turns off, it means that something has gone wrong with the calibration. Wait 90 seconds for the power transmitter to go to sleep and try again. If needed, please see the KO Power or Receiving Device User Manual and Support Pages for more information. You're all set for a ride. Enjoy your ride with KO Power. Analyze every detail of your performance with the FlowWeb service.